Hey guys, Jason Nedved here with Nedved Precision Shooting. So we are headed to the PRS 22 Championship down in College Station, Texas, somewhere in that area just south of College Station, but that's where we're staying. I am at the airport right now in Sioux Falls. And you can see from behind me, we're dealing with snow and it was about 16 degrees this morning. So I'm happy to be going to Texas right now. Got everything checked in. Uh, my buddies are driving down my rifle. So that was a nice one to offer that, but we'll just uh, wait here at the gate until our flight gets here and we'll talk again in Dallas. Good morning, everybody from College Station, Texas. We made it here last night, flew in about 6.30, had some great barbecue. So that was very good. God, those burnt ends, just amazing. But uh, had that, but as you can see behind me today on Friday, before we go to site in at 10 o'clock, it is uh, kind of raining, misting out right now. Uh, so hopefully that'll let up, but I am glad Greg told me to pack my uh, boots because it's gonna be a sloppy mess out there. I said, okay, I got room, let's do it. Glad I did. But the guys got in last night. They drove all the way from South Dakota down here. They left at like 4.15. They got here at 11.18 or something like that last night. So what a trip for them. But it is nice having a garage on our Airbnb and we can just leave everything in the bed of the truck so we can just pull in and out. So that will be nice uh, to have. But we're gonna go find some breakfast and then head out to the range and see what everything's, go, what everything's about. Sounds like we have a couple side stages that we get a couple free entries in and then we have, uh, you can buy entries after that and then obviously site in um, data collection and we'll do, uh, we'll do a little bit of that and make sure everything's good from South Dakota down to here. You know, being, I think it's like 52 out right now versus back home, it was in the teens, high teens, low 20s. So we'll have to recollect some data, but not a big deal when you got from 10 o'clock to five o'clock. So we'll, uh, We'll head out to the range, have a good time. So we're at the range, it's called the CCC Complex here in just south of College Station, Texas, where the championship is gonna be held. What we have here, you can see, we got stuff to shoot off going out to range, and then we got tires, we have uh, cattle gates, that are kind of twisty, those are a little tricky. But for $25, you were able to sign in uh, right over here and shoot all the barricades and stuff. So they have all the targets out there, nicely labeled, got big placards up there. Uh, but what's not released is the course of fire of how you're supposed to be on that barricade or prop and what you're gonna be shooting at. So we're just shooting at targets. I went over to the zero range Confirmed over there, I had to bring my rifle down a tenth, and then it was two tenths left, but everybody else was two. Uh, so that was good. And then over here, I went to confirm data out to uh, 326, I think it was, and everything was uh, lining up pretty good over there. So you can see here, we got culverts that you're gonna be shooting off of. You got the culverts there, and you got the pallets, or kind of reminds me of a pallet there. And if you look out there in the field, you see all those yellow placards, there's little pieces of steel hung up on T-posts. So the fun part of that is going to be that it's up in the air. So if you miss, it's not like you get the dirt splash of, oh, I need to correct this way. So that's gonna be a little difficult for tomorrow. So that'll be fun though. Uh, if we do have wind like we do today, it'll make things a little bit more interesting because at 111 yards, uh, I was shooting over there, it was uh, seven tenths to the left. So that'll, that'll make things interesting, but we are at the championship, so everybody should be well aware of uh, how the wind reacts with our ammunition that we're shooting. If you look over here, we got our side stages, and then you got the sign in over here, um, all kinds of stuff going on. So people are lining up, shooting the Lapua side stage with the JP rifle, and then we have a tank trap stage 
also that you shoot with your rifle and you're shooting a bunch of lollipops over there. Super excited, gonna go uh, grab my rifle. I'm a little tired, that's, that's for sure. But uh, gonna go grab my rifle. I just been dry firing off all these barricades. I'm um, just finding a little piece of steel and then aiming at the stem of it. You know, smaller target, if I can get steady on that stem, then we should be good to go. I'm gonna grab my rifle and uh, go practice some more. So now we're at the other range. This is called the 22 area. So that's pretty sweet that they have a center fire area and then a 22 area, so that's pretty cool. So now we're at the 22 area and they got some crazy props going on over here. They got uh, like a boat and uh, like a old uh, cage looking thing over there. Then over here you got the truck bed and some fence posts there. You got helicopter going to culverts to um, railroad ties. You got a three way rooftop over there too, so that's gonna be a little difficult. And then there's a bus that uh, I didn't do well on in Missouri. So I'll probably uh, grab the rifle, do some more dry firing. But this is just nice and flat, steel everywhere. You got it all labeled out there. It's uh, pretty sweet. And what I have noticed between South Dakota and coming down to Texas, all their props are like permanent. They're planted in the ground, they're ready to go. It's, uh, they're not moving. With ours, we always make it so we can collapse them down and, and go on and put them up elsewhere. So that is the nice thing about here. You set up on it and you're rock solid, ready to go. We're back. It's uh, after day one. We are just finished up shooting. Uh, got my stuff put away. Just kind of do a quick little debrief of it. I didn't get any footage throughout the day. I was kind of trying to focus, stay in the mindset of uh, what was going on today. But it was a good day. Uh, I was averaging uh, nine per stage. And then I uh, shot the bed on, uh, there's like a cattle gate, but the poles kind of a little bit of rotate. They weren't really rotating, but uh, that's the one that uh, it didn't go well. I hit, could never hit the close one, but then the far one to the far right. I always hit that one, but uh, didn't, uh, didn't, could not connect with that 94 yard one. I don't know what was going on. I was a little shaky, I will admit, but God, I was trying left, I was trying right. The wind's a little shifty. Um, it's going between three mile per hour today up to, I think I've seen seven mile per hour. So it's not huge, but you know, with these little rim fires, uh, that is kind of a big change. It's been a fun day one, averaging nines all the way until I didn't, and then uh, got an eight, and then came over here to this car right here, had to shoot off the roof of that. Uh, then I got a nine on that, and then the last stage of the day, I got a 10. So, you know, all averaging out, probably around 80% or something like that, I don't know. But uh, apparently there's some guys just crushing it. I know the guys in my squad, nice to, hang out with those, meet new people here in squad three. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I will say there was a, there's a guy over here named Chris. He was having some issues with his bolt. It was just like super sticky. Like, you know, you run in center fire, you're running it super hot or something like that. And he was just struggling getting that thing up. So he got done with the stage. Next thing you know, he's over there with the lighter fluid on his bolt. So that was, that was funny to see that. Great group of guys that I'm meeting uh, down here in Texas. It's been a lot of fun, but uh, we got some crawfish uh, boiling up over there and it'll be a good time. And I'll uh, let you guys know how tomorrow goes. So this stage right here is the one that I ate my lunch. I got a four out of 10, but the two ROs on this stage, a shout out to them. One over there on my shoulder, the other one over there, supporters of the channel and of uh, NPS. So thanks to those guys. But it was a rough stage. I did not enjoy shooting off of that. I could not find that left target to save my life, but forget it, move on. Let's uh, go after tomorrow.
There you go. Thank you. Clean it. Yes, sir. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> So it's the end of day two. We are still finishing up shooting, but I am done. Uh, had a great time. Dropped 12 today, but they might throw out another stage that I got an eight on, so I dropped 10 possibly today. So we'll see how that shakes out at the end here, but it was a good day <laughs> and good guys all over here. But a uh, good time in Texas. Great course of fire. Uh, I'll review some of it, but uh, yeah, clean the last two stages leaving on a high so we'll uh, finish up see how it uh, ends here hey guys it's Monday night just got back from the championship obviously uh, just got everything kind of put away or taken out of the bags uh, but just want to go over real quick the awards so the awards went really well in my opinion so I've been to three NRL 22 championships and this is my first PRS 22 championship. And this one honestly left me wanting more. It motivated me to get better. It motivated me to get out there and shoot um, and host more matches and better matches and figure out uh, different things that other guys are doing, match directors, uh, how to prepare the shooters that come to my PRS 22 match. Uh, so it was really good. The awards, I ended up placing, I think, 35th in the, yeah, 35th for the match. I got 156, uh, then 29th would have been 157th if I would have got one point more. I did have one mental error, so I could have had that point back because after I figured out what I did wrong, I got back on the correct target and was able to impact that target so that I would kind of think I would have clean that stage if I would have got that other one didn't have that mental error so kick my own butt for that because at these matches I really want to avoid mental errors you, I really want to plan everything think it through I'll have that game plan before I get to the next stage or before I get up and shoot so uh, having that mental error I was kind of upset with myself but you got to forget those stages and move on so uh, that's what I did I still got a nine I still very thankful for that nine uh, but had that one mental error. So that could have bought, bought, bumped me up, depending on the tiebreaker, um, up to 29th. So from 35th to 29th by just uh, that one point. And then uh, first place got 173, second place 169. So a little bit of a jump there, four point jump there. Uh, that's fine. And then for the season points, I ended up, for the season final, I ended up placing 23rd. Uh, so for you guys that don't really know about that, so Throughout the year, you want to shoot at least three PRS 22 matches, you get 100 points, um, or a possible of 100 points at each one. And then you want to shoot your regional final, which has a possible chance of 200 points. So you could go into the championship with 500 points. And then the championship is worth 200 points. So uh, try to get you bumped up there if you do well. But if you have a, a bad weekend, it's still doesn't punish you as greatly. That's why it kind of left me wanting more is because for next year and talking to other match directors and meeting other guys there of what their clubs do all around the country, you know, I was meeting guys that drove 20 hours, 25 hours, four hours, three hours, you know, 12 hours, 17 hours, uh, just meeting people from all over the country that came down to Texas to shoot that. So that shows how much this sport is growing and how much people want to get together to shoot that final. Uh, so that was a lot of fun, met a lot of new people. I was squatted up randomly because I was in the top 40, so they automatically squatted you. I like that. That was great. Uh, so, but we'll go into some of that stuff later. Watch out for another video that I'll be doing. I've always learned a lot from talking through or listening uh, what someone else did um, on each stage. So I'm gonna take the matchbook, go over all 20 stages. We dropped two, but we'll go over why. Uh, but you know, look out for that video. But the championship went really well. Um, it's good to be home, uh, but it's cold here, guys. <laughs> Going down to Texas where it was like 55 in the morning and 68 when we finished up, it was like great. And then I come back home and it's uh, 28 degrees and blowing wind and there's snow on the ground. It's like, oh. The biggest takeaway from the championship down in Texas with PRS 22, it left me wanting more. I want to get 
the big check. I want to get the big trophy. I want to be up on the PowerPoint. You know, they made you feel kind of special. They had balloons, they had cookies with the PRS logo on it. Uh, it was great. I did win. Um, so I walked in there and I was looking at the prize table and it didn't matter if I was first or last or somewhere in the middle. I walked in there and I seen these Hawkins rings, one piece, uh, zero MOA, 34 millimeter. Uh, this exact one right here on that Vortex scope. Uh, I seen that and it's like, I want that. You know, they had some other great stuff on there, but what I need and what I want is those there. Cause I'm building another rifle, uh, six BRA. So I needed that. So I was excited, even though I placed 35th, still got the rings I wanted. So that went great but had a great weekend. Thank you guys down in Texas for hosting us, uh, putting on a great match, and thanks to the PRS uh, for everyone there, uh, getting everything put together. And thanks for all the teams and uh, companies to help get us this great equipment that we use um, for our rifles and everything like that. Uh, it went great. Like I said, and I'll say it again, it left me wanting more, so show up to the matches, uh, any PRS 22 match, and let's try to make it to, uh, I think it's Pennsylvania next year. I've never been there, so I'm gonna be pushing hard so I can get over there and try to get as many points as I can. Watch out for some other videos coming out, uh, and hope you enjoy the video. Like, comment, all that stuff, because uh, kind of a new thing, doing the vlog type of deal. Hope you guys liked it, but yeah, we'll do more of it. Thanks guys, take it easy, we'll see you at the range.